as a topic. I've been coming down, sir. I'm sending the kind of the insurance on Kobe Kwama. Okay, if my telephone anyone more share in what periscope via Abiku Santana. Anyone more share me on my personal page. Eh, www.facebook.com forward slash coffee. More share life. The subject matter obstacle, Abiku. We we understand, sir. Abrabona ye bono. Ube share ko nsi diye. The life we live, life is living in full expectation. Living in full expectations. And that, that is the meaning of, of life. life. The word life. life. You know? I think I F E. Living in full expectation. expectation. Thank you. And to we are there, no matter what you do, so far as you are living in this life, you must expect something. And in that expectance, there are full of experiences. In the in the expectancy of life, you know, it comes with full of experiences, and out of these experiences that we you can you know, bear obstacles. Everybody, so far as you know, when you enter the season, a bear could be sure to incide. Be sure to incide. The moment your father and your mother conjugate and complete, and you become a few toss, you know, your incide begins. Sao papa no mami enya kwensidi am enya Yesu Christo kwa enya kwensidi Sanity Bon sam so no he Yesu abeku abeku you cannot outwit obstacles you will be put to test Yesu Christo Christo abufu wa so de Absolutely Akwa so de mbebe you see any awurade asem no Abeku the wire market Abeku ni bufu yi Yesu bufu fa badi gba awo Abeku in your in your life Ababoni ya bonu be sia kwesi dia. Yesu kra bu fu yi. Okay aba. Okay aba. Wow. Abeku so you will come across obstacles. Ti alaji fi me ka ba e. Oni mi ki dale. No bu jira bon ti. Na ti ti ki mi se yan ti no bi ogo me ka bon se ba se se ka bon se se se. Ju se alaji we fi se wa ko ka ba wa ko bon pa e. Abeku. That is why Life is living in full expectations. Life is living in full of experiences. That is why Abrabani Yabono Ube Nyako and Sidye. And the and the absence of life obstacle does not mean you say you are living. <laughs> yellow man, we chill every way. Yellow man, we chill every way. Alaji, yellow man. Alaji, young Kuri, young Kuri, young Kuri. Alaji is the one making this show possible, and and we are all um, grateful to him. So I chose this topic: obstacles. Whatever you purpose your mind to see in your challenges, so shall it play out. However you see your obstacles, so will it manifest itself. Nobody plants maize and reaps banana. So whatever you plant by, by your fickle imagination, so would it be, and how you bet it. So that is how come this topic we started almost two months ago. We're wrapping up today. I think what I said in the word obstacle is when you take the letter O, it stands for overcomable. Whenever you come face to face in life, have the fortitude of mindset that you can overcome it. If it does not need to be overcome, it will not have come your way. That is why somebody sat there and said, if birds can fly. I can also build aircraft. The, the right brothers. And to see a coincidia, only Jina Hose, Ubetini Echi Afaso. Then we come to the letter B. B means believe. In this life we live, you must have a belief that you are capable, that you are not a mistake. Abeko, I was happy when you said that. Don't use what you are going through today to justify that you don't matter. Whether you came out of wedlock, well, it doesn't matter how you came into this world. What matters is that you have life. And in that life, you must believe. Stay focused. The letter S. Stay focused. And in the focus, I said, follow on course until you succeed. Let's Stay focused. Stay. Stay. Follow on course until you succeed. So my brothers and sisters and viewers, 
and listeners on OKFM. The letter T in the word obstacles actually mean tarrying is for a moment. Whatever you are going through, the moment where you feel the moment you think that everything has ceased, tarrying is for a moment. So far as the sun was set and rises and the moon will come and go, it means that this your challenge will come and go. If the woman with the issue of blood, crying is for a moment. Acquire the experiences when you are you are you are so embedded in your obstacles. Acquire the experience because obstacles don't don't just come your way. They come to prepare you for greater heights. And the higher you go, the cooler it becomes. So the higher it go, you have its corresponding challenges you're going to meet. So obstacles come to prepare you for the challenges and the successes ahead. Now, me try what say. Say, oh, come, so she be more. Nye musye hununu. E ma unre mfri so be nye sa ot otani o yalu musye hununu. Adentia, e prepare wo. Eh, 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 titi wu, seni ebe ya, ni yaka uwe ni munu wuku ni midiye, ebe ya wudia. Then we come to the letter C. And the C, I said, in your obstacles, the C stands for the space for you to challenge the status quo. It takes obstacles that you encounter to bet out of you to challenge the status quo. Some time ago, people said the world was square. The world was that. But somebody challenged that to school and said it's round. Abrabona won't borrow. Near all common in your family, a young crying, says Samma who said, Ubecha a Sabia, a dimfas who never brought the Sani, Nansun Anka, a Sassiano, Nenny Hossa. Or Tani or Yao now who common, a young crying, Samma who said, Who's who may be a gentry must send your baby as a wooden de Batuso. Then we came to the letter L. If you are able to challenge the status quo, the letter L's em em employ you to leave clues for the next generation. The letter L, it implores you to leave clues for the next generation. What you are going through, the challenges you are suffering, whatever you see yourself going through, it is for you to leave clues because they are overcomable. Miss letter L, no, L, no. Nintia Siena said, Nia would to meet you fast, Wano. A Musia Hudu, Jatuoman Trima. The letter L implores you to leave clues. Then we came to the letter E. The letter E means explore and expand your potentials. Explore, expand. And enjoy your thoughts as well. But in that moment of your obstacles, you it is calling on you. Explore your potentials. Perhaps your obstacles is drawing and tuning you towards your inner potentials you never paid attention to. I told the beer near or how now come on. A kai kai o a ma on kaya be say sa o a chedi be won mo as of the year juma na sa won for sudden in ya juma ya sa o he no. Me castle for be or say or chat any chocolate boo or the pen try and map copin brass so this of war no such of me boo such of moi a boo so our obstacles becomes the space for us to explore other potentials. Perhaps you think because you are knowledgeable in mathematics, your, your jurisprudence is computerization. Maybe that is not your point. You have to become an entrepreneur. Far away from computerization, so you might not succeed out of your chaos. Out of darkness, light was called forth. So out of darkness, it is set. Who's your acquaintance, dear? Unya ho kwa inse, ube deng, ube bethi, u potentials. Unya ho kwa inse, ni unni muno, ube tre umu. Unya ho kwa inse, ni unya no, ube nyasu kuni bidie. Today we are wrapping up the series on positive potency of obstacles. Positive potency of obstacles. Obstacles come your way for you to have the benefit of the best life presents because there is so much you must expect from life. So first you expect the sun to shine. A moment the sky becomes cloudy. Another moment it rains. All is part of the expectations. 
But when you have a fine-tuned mind to face this, when the present itself and it goes a bit against you, that is when you are prepared to face life. So my brothers and sisters, those watching me live on my, 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 my Facebook page and those watching me live on Abeku Santana Periscope and listen to us also live on OKF and its affiliate stations around the globe. Today, the letter S, wrapping up the series, stands for success is relative. Success is relative. Success is relative. In Kunimidia and Ahunya, Elgu Ahuro, and in a century. In Kunimidia, any Ahunya, Elgu Ahuro, and in a century. Success is relative. We are mostly disappointed in the face of our obstacles because of our measure and definition of success. We are mostly disappointed in the face of our obstacles because. Let's see. Because of our measure and definition of success. How do you define success? Your definition of success is what is impeding you in moving forward because of your obstacles. Your definition of success is what is impeding you from going forward. Success is the accumulation of your failures and overcoming it. In Kunimidie, a year, while she has seen who she has seen was sorry about not to a tour and your friend was set in Kunimidie. In Kunimidie, what training yet? Who suck up what femu or tower what femu or ya what femu? Enemy castle, so about about for your fluor, new crying say a set of our fan of our fan about. And I want in your near or chimba who pen no. I want in your so shas yam put no bear my die yet. Not on which I toy no, or women who see a shas yano, and none a was as yet. And to won't couldn't be dear as it's re and the mawia of the four. That definition you give to success is what makes you successful. Success is the accumulation of your failures and overcoming it. Let no one measure your breakthrough with that of this. Never walk in anybody's shadow. Never walk in anybody's definition of success. Never walk in and admit to anybody's definition of success. May more be funny here, dear, and to toward dear, who a son sat in such a way. All the fingers are not the same, but I can promise you, cut one off. And you see the value of that finger you cut off. Our sweat, our strength, weakness, and opportunities, as well as threats, are never the same. And our rate of success cannot be the same. So far, on the pack of chromotia, design there was, you know, I have a friend, your friend saying biometric, no, or bios, no, or be any more, we are seeing. I didn't know what's that would be, or be a new chromotia pet. Abra but to do dear ne e e se wo so e ma wo boto if the term has its unique features pertaining to who we are why then should i allow somebody's definition of success to intimidate and impede how far i can go in life listen the fact that the fish have fins does not mean it can fly the fact that the fish has fins does not mean it can fly. The fact that the mad fish or tilapia belongs to the waters does not mean it, its inability to survive the sea waters makes it unsuccessful. The tilapia and the mad fish cannot dwell in water bodies that have salt content. So if you drop them in the sea and they die, don't justify it that they have failed. That is the same way we live our lives. Apata Kobi, I near to the food in Tilapia. No, I will not swag. No, so what I said, what do you do? You and you are poor, on to me, and then no, no, be who and the amount of more being fat than the can crop and yes, so the amount and to know a catcher and more be never the sudia. Sir Apata, everything's who don't have a time before what to say and sat an hour and tabino. 
a wapata entu o jaru on siom and tis a o pesa on semi ukraya semi ukraya send ye me timo no met timi ayok out the four and kasa or semi yet a se osimesia no benting. I won't forty ye. Parents listen to me. Never ever equate the success of your last born to your first born. Never ever equate the success of your first born to your last born or the middle born. The reason being that possibly the last born is a fish with fins. Let the let the last born swim to its greatest of potentials in the sea. Possibly the first born is a bird. Let that first born soar like an eagle. Don't compare their successes. Though they are all creations. So ya wo fo a en fa wo ma en to 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 obi o mo ho mo ho hwe hwe obi ani ne bo bre ani ne ye bia e ma ne ye kase wona de ye nyina mu se ne be ne ku ne bi die e be sipi e sita en fa to to ne nyina no ho wo ye ne sa o be di wo nya o be di wo nya wo ne sa o be di wo nya the success of a doctor who takes care of patients and that of a pastor who also take care of people Cannot be compared. All right, Scoffrey, but your man in Bermuda na yenya breaking news be accident in BSC na yenya Bermuda touch our man so hi touch good evening. Yo, yes, we need to move a B A S C na but your a question about BSC yes we have. A question about BSC or touch your two coma. Who said the phone? Into opportunity. Concluding the two month um, subject, how to turn your obstacles into opportunity. Abeku, thank you very much. Um, we want to, I want to empathize with those who have been involved in an accident. We call on the police to swiftly go and support them, the ambulance, so that we can save some lives. And I want families of these people to know that we empathize with them. In the five minutes that we have, I want to bring your mind to certain things. According to the World Report, there are 2,325 balloonets on this planet. There are 2,325 balloonets on this planet. We are seeing a woman here where she can form a beam. You know, three any um a hasa any do num you a do num. We move 35 percent in chemo. Ah 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 num no ah me sano. Yes, see, we want to square here. 35% of them don't hold undergraduate degree. 
35% of all the world's billionaires don't have undergraduate degree. Listen again. 42% graduated with bachelor's degree. 26% have master's degree. 21% finish their MBA. 11% attend PhD. So why should you measure your success with somebody else? We are saying that for you, a mum two thousand years, you know, a mum thirty-five percent, we chemo or her thirty-five percent, you know, woman, woman go school and we only degree. It's a form that we are saying, no, no. A mum forty-two percent, you know, so no, woman we first degree, pe. A mum twenty twenty-six percent, our master degree, twenty-one percent, our every MBA, eleven percent, and our PhD. Saying I didn't know what I would do or be. Here, dear, to two dear. One go school team. Don't allow your obstacles. Don't allow your obstacles of your environment and family background determine your successes. Don't let anybody's definition of success stampede your purpose, vision, and mission for greatness. Our obstacles remind us of how unique we are with its corresponding successes. Our hand comes with varied length and size of fingers. They are all not the same. Success is relative. Be purposed in your heart and your mind that your obstacles will become a stepping stone, not a blocked stone, so that you can become the best that you are. Live your dreams. Walk in your purpose. Live the vision that is bubbling in you. Your obstacles are only a reminder. They are all triggers for you to be awakened from the sleeping from the slumber, from the slowness, so that you become valuable to the reason why you were born onto this earth. I believe in you and believe in your potentials. In your testimonies lies the test you survive. What have you been through? What have you survived? What story of success do you have to tell? So, in a summary, there is always some positive power in your obstacles. All that you need to do is to see beyond them. All that you need to do is to resonate from within so that the best of you can be prepared. Abeku, this is our wrap up on the subject matter, positive potency of your obstacles. Positive potency of your obstacle. Let's just say... So it depends on how you see the water in the glass. Absolutely. Is it half full or half empty? Or half empty. Absolutely. I mean, I don't think there's any dead situation when there's life. No. There is no dead situation when, when there, there is. is life. So yeah. Let's just say you have come to your complete Absolutely. Dr. Betty may catch also when you cancer. What to me in your age. But God can do a miracle. Absolutely. <laughs> Sometimes the doctors will be able to be declared as well. You can understand to be here when you know we are not shocked you. So there's no death situation when there is life. Absolutely. And that was the insightful proposition of um, the top.